Hello everybody, welcome to Onyx Cole's YouTube channel. My name is Sierra. For those of you who don't know me, I am her daughter. And today's video comes from the master himself. So this is gonna be David Schmidt, and this is his grandest, greatest overview of X39 specifically. So this will be great. He'll talk about the science, he'll talk about the clinical studies, he'll talk about, you know, just how he kind of came up with the X39, which is always amazing. So make sure you enjoy today's video. Oh, that's my dog running into the room. Uh, enjoy today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We are doing a drawing. We're going to be giving away nine free sleeves to nine people of our first thousand subscribers. So we still have a little bit of space left. So if you want to be included in that, make sure you put your name on that list and hit that subscribe button and enjoy what David's got to say today. A good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Schmidt. I'm the CEO of LifeWave and with me today, uh, someone that you all know, Onyx Cole. Uh, so Onyx, I'll turn it over to you. And being in classic Onyx form, I'm on my cell phone and you guys can't see me because I can't figure out how to make the screen go. But I'm really, really excited that you're all here today. And I had the pleasure of spending the afternoon yesterday with David in San Diego, meeting the team. And I'm so excited. I'm, I'm just over the moon. And I know you're going to really enjoy David and his heart and his brain and his knowledge and just we're in the right place. So thank you so much, David. Thank you, Onyx. It's it's my pleasure. And thank you for taking the time uh, to put all this together. Uh, so today, uh, what we're going to be doing is giving you an inside look at the development of X39. Uh, we're going to go into some detail about one of the clinical studies that we've done. We've got over 80 clinical studies that we've done on our technology uh, over the past 17 years. Uh, since started the company in 2002. Uh, we're also going to show you some before after photos, uh, some incredible wound healing effects that we've seen with X39. Uh, so we're going to take a much deeper dive into the technology that you don't get uh, when you uh, look at the website. And this is material uh, that we present at our conferences. And we did this at the launch in January. Um, Onyx, I'm just going to go ahead and mute you so uh, we don't have the background. Perfect. Um, and then we're also going to have uh, plenty of time where you can ask any questions that you might have. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, this has been a 10-year journey on the uh, development of X39. And when we first started, LifeWave was all about uh, improving the quality of life and anti-aging. And... Uh, we launched the company as a network marketing company in 2004. We had phenomenal success uh, over the years, and but nothing like what we're seeing with X39. So about 10 years ago, I decided that it would be, the direction of the company would be into regenerative medicine because it was very clear that was going to be the future. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how we started into this journey uh, where we've been and how that led into the product launch of X39 and uh, what gives us such a remarkable advantage in the field of stem cells. So first, a little bit about regenerative medicine. One of the models that we use here in our laboratory in San Diego, uh, by the way, we have a 25,000 square foot building here in San Diego. Uh, we have two buildings in Ireland uh, that are 45,000 square feet and uh, we do manufacturing of our products, both in the US um, as well as in Ireland. Uh, we manufacture the products ourselves, uh, so we control the manufacturing. That would be something important for you to know. And we have massive uh, capacity with high-speed manufacturing equipment. So uh, we do research uh, all over the world, uh, but we do have a laboratory here uh, in the U.S., uh, we also do quite a bit of research in Ireland, as you see. And this is uh, one of the uh, stem cell models that we use, which is a standard in the industry. It's called a planaria. And basically, if you cut off the head or the tail of the planaria, they're going to regenerate in about 17 days. Uh, another model that we use, uh, we do this work at a university in Ireland uh, called the National University of Ireland in Galway. Uh, these are called hydractinia, and uh, when you cut off their tentacles, 
they'll also regenerate in about three to four days. And again, hydroactinia is a standard uh, model in the stem cell industry. This is a Mexican oxalotl, and uh, this is something that we don't work with, but they're interesting from uh, a regeneration point of view because of the level of differentiation that you have. They can regrow entire limbs, brain, heart, and so forth. And then, of course, we have <laughs> human beings. And uh, one of the things we know about people is that when we're younger, uh, our regenerative capacity isn't bad. Uh, but as we age, our ability to heal and repair steadily declines. Uh, as a matter of fact, as we get over the age of 60, our ability to repair has decreased uh, by over 60%. Uh, and that number is going to become important, as you'll see. So what everyone in the industry is trying to figure out is how can we improve the regenerative capacity of human beings like some of these other things like hydroctinia and planaria. And of course, this would lead to uh, regeneration of limbs and organs, right? So we want to understand better how human beings heal. And not surprisingly, the answer is in the genes and the stem cells. So as we age, the information in our cells changes and the stem cells decline in their activity and their ability to repair damaged tissue and create new cells. So... A good question would be, you've heard X39 activates stem cells. Uh, what does that actually mean? Well, we're going to be discussing that in pretty good detail today. So uh, when you get out of here, you're going to understand exactly what it means to activate stem cells. Uh, and let's see. I see we do have a question. Uh, let me just see. And you can either uh, write in a question or you can raise your hand. Either is going to be fine. Uh, let's see. We'll go over to uh, Danny Bruner. Uh, go ahead and I've uh, unmute your microphone. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. I'm, I was going to ask a question and type it, but I can just ask it. Okay. I just wonder if you're also going to talk about the BRCA1 and 2 gene um, when you talk about genes. So that's you'll probably cover that, but I just want to ask. Yeah. Uh, what we'll talk about is the P63 gene. Uh, gene expression and protein and how that relates to X39 and stem cell proliferation. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, some things that you should know is that all of our products are invented here and patented and completely exclusive to LifeWave. Um, I have about 70 patents globally in the field of regenerative medicine. These are just a few of them, and uh, over 100 patents altogether. Okay, so uh, what we did, uh, going back now maybe about six, seven years, we were able to form a collaboration with the National University of Ireland in Galway, and uh, they have a center, which you're looking at here, called the Regenerative Medicine Institute, or REMEDY for short. And uh, Dr. Tim O'Brien uh, runs this center. He's a very well-known uh, medical doctor globally who specializes in uh, diabetes and diabetic neuropathy and, of course, stem cell medicine. And uh, the goal of uh, REMEDY is to basically look at new technologies in the field of stem cells. So we went over there, we made a presentation on one technology that I'll uh, show to you, and I'll show you the results of our studies uh, because they're very significant in terms of uh, how this led to X39. Um, we're also funded uh, by Scientific Foundation Ireland. So uh, Dr. O'Brien was so impressed with what he was seeing that we were able to get a grant from the Irish government to do this work. Uh, let's see, we have another uh, question. Uh, let's see, this is a just a question. You know, I'll take this question towards uh, the end uh, so we can keep moving on. Okay, so this is one of my inventions. It's called the Double Helix Conductor, or DHC for short. And uh, there's many different sizes that we've done, laboratory models, uh, 
coils that you place in and around different body parts and then a whole body treatment. And what's novel about this is that it'll provide both um, an electromagnetic field and what's called a longitudinal field. And uh, the goal of this is to enhance the activity of the stem cells in the body. Now, over the years, we've done standard laboratory in vitro work. Uh, we've had several different animal models that we've used. And uh, of course, we've also done many studies with human beings. Uh, this one that I'm going to show you, uh, because it's relevant to our conversation, is uh, using a standard rabbit model. And basically what we do is uh, uh, inject a drug into the rabbits to give them diabetes. Uh, after they develop diabetes, uh, they develop an ulceration, a diabetic ulceration in the ears. You fold the ear over so they can't scratch at it. And then you do a uh, control group and treatment groups. And um, in this uh, particular case, uh, what we're able to do is uh, treat them uh, with the electromagnetic field therapy relative to the control, and then also assess what would happen if you applied stem cells directly to the ear. And this is what the uh, ulcerations look like. And by the way, this is a very significant problem for human beings. Uh, there's over 400 mil million people globally uh, that suffer with uh, diabetes and uh, developing diabetic neuropathy from those high blood sugar levels leads to damage of the nerves and then in late stage uh, open wounds, uh, which can uh, create the need for amputation. And uh, there's currently no treatment for diabetic neuropathy. So this is a very, very significant problem. And what we saw here is that applying an external electromagnetic field was able to accelerate wound healing. Uh, what we also found was that when uh, mesenchymal stem cells or MSCs were applied to the injury, they healed at exactly the same rate. So this was uh, the first time that we had laboratory evidence that uh, you could activate the stem cells in the body, improve the function of the stem cells in the body without having to inject stem cells. And that uh, became very, very important because it allowed us to look at things in a completely different way in the sense that uh, everyone in the industry is going in the direction of let's inject young stem cells to accelerate wound healing, right? Which sounds great. Uh, but there's a reason why uh, stem cell therapy with very, very limited exception uh, hasn't been approved in Europe, United States, or Japan as some examples um, because it doesn't work all the time. It's very expensive and there's a significant risk associated with it. But here we were seeing you don't have to inject stem cells. There's a way to activate and improve the function of the stem cells in the body and do it externally with energy. And of course, this has huge advantage. Uh, if we're using the stem cells in the body, it makes it extremely safe. It makes it very effective. And of course, it's very inexpensive. So we went back to our lab and we applied this technique to the planaria, which again is a, a standard stem cell model. And uh, what researchers are trying to accomplish is to get a modest improvement in the rate of regeneration. So if we could chop off the head of a planaria and regenerate it in 15 days, uh, that would be a significant improvement. With this technology, we were able to do it the first time out in only eight days. But as we continued to develop the technology, we were regenerating heads in six days, then in four days, then in three days, then in two days, then in one day, and in our best run, which was repeated, by the way, many times over a period of years, uh, we were able to regenerate a head in only 16 and a half hours. And uh, by the way, uh, three weeks ago, we signed a contract with the uh, number one stem cell scientist in his field here in the US, uh, who has a laboratory at a major university. And this technology is in that university now being tested. And uh, we're gonna be publishing our work in a uh, very prominent uh, 
Science Journal. In the final technology, uh, which was patented, we were able to take uh, one version of this technology and actually close wounds in less than 15 minutes. So this is actually faster than the biological limits for protein synthesis. In other words, um, a planaria can't produce proteins quickly enough to close injuries. We were able to exceed that biological limit. Um, someone's asking if we'll be able to share this PowerPoint. We don't share this PowerPoint. People can come to our conferences and hear it, but we don't want to overly complicate the business. Uh, and so we really don't want our members going out and teaching and showing this. Uh, because we feel it will take something that's simple and complicate it. Okay. So, of course, human beings are not <laughs> flatworms. Uh, and the problem for humans is that as we age, the stem cells slow down. Stem cells age with the rest of the body. They don't move as quickly. Uh, they produce less growth factors. So what can we do? We'll just keep this moving. Uh, we've already kind of covered this, that stem cell uh, therapy is expensive, it has a degree of risk, and it doesn't work all the time. So here's LifeWave's approach with the X39. What we want to do is make stem cell science affordable to everyone. Uh, it's very, very important that we make it safe, it's legal, uh, and we're going to activate the stem cells that are already within your body, and that's how we're going to make it affordable and safe. And as you're going to see, uh, it's extremely effective, and it has a huge number of benefits. Uh, as I said, we're going to talk about this term activate uh, because it really means two different things. Uh, first, when we activate stem cells, we increase the rate of proliferation, meaning when someone has an injury, you need to get stem cells to that injury site to heal the injury. So when we activate the stem cells in the body with X39, the stem cells can get to the injury. Another thing that happens is that when you uh, apply X39 to the body, it elevates copper peptide. And uh, copper peptide is, has been shown to convert the universal stem cells, uh, sorry, to convert the uh, stem cells that are in your skin uh, over to universal stem cells or pluripotent stem cells. And uh, research with copper peptide shows then that these additional stem cells go into your body and support the wound healing process uh, wherever it may be. Now, when people apply X39, uh, most people get an immediate effect. And uh, we're going to see this in one of the clinical studies that I'm going to show you. So most people feel a difference their very first day. And you'll see within a week, uh, we get most people responding with great results. Uh, now that said, we do want people to use X39 for a month. Uh, there are some people that don't respond for about three weeks, um, but the majority of people respond within about a week. So we just say, give it a month and you'll get great results. Now, in order to activate the stem cells, one of the things you need to do is increase the amount of energy that's being produced in the mitochondria. So overall uh, energy that's produced in the cell goes up. What people experience is an improvement in well-being. They feel less tired and less fatigued. Also very interesting, I'll show this to you in the clinical study uh, that we did, and we, we, again, we have multiple clinical studies. I'm just going to show you one today in the interest of time. But the quality of sleep goes up. Uh, it turns out when you activate stem cells, it increases the levels of GABA in the brain. And uh, GABA is a neurotransmitter that's responsible for inducing sleep. So as a matter of fact, when drug companies are looking at uh, coming up with a drug to improve sleep, they want to activate GABA receptors. Now, <clears throat> one thing that X39 and copper peptide does really well is manage pain, uh, and it does this through managing inflammation. Now, some people are going to have a mild increase in pain when applying X39, uh, and that's important to understand um, because what's going on here 
is that in order to heal an injury, the body needs to first generate inflammation to tear down that old damaged tissue so it can make way for new healthy tissue. Um, so if you get a mild increase in pain, it's okay. That's what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, if it's uh, intolerable, simply remove the patch or you can apply another one of our patches to help manage the pain. Now, one of the benefits of activating stem cells is that in order to heal an injury, you've got to increase production of collagen in the fibroblasts. And so one of the side benefits of X39 is that it's going to decrease the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, most people are going to see this effect show up over about a four to 12 week period of time. When uh, people exercise, of course, the goal is we want to break down the muscle tissue to build it up and make it stronger. And <clears throat> this is one of the things we see with X39. As a matter of fact, uh, at our launch event in Japan, where we had 600 people, uh, we just had this event in July, actually, uh, Mr. Akira Yegashi, who is a three-time world champion in boxing, and he's, a, he's the current champion in his weight class, uh, gave a, a presentation and a testimonial on how X39 has had a phenomenal effect on his performance and his ability to recover after a fight. But of course, you don't have to be a world champion or professional athlete to appreciate this. Just anyone that wants to stay in shape and stay healthy is going to be able to see improved uh, performance and recovery uh, with X39. Now, some people see improvements in hair growth. Not everyone. There's a, a reason for this. We don't have time to get into it. But if you see that you've got new hair coming in, uh, you're not imagining it. And I'll even show you uh, a testimonial that we got on this. Now, some of the most dramatic results that we get are in the area of scar reduction. And again, I'll show you some testimonials on that, as well as wound healing. Uh, many leaders, as a matter of fact, that have come into the company have come in just based on wound healing. Uh, there's a question, can you please send me some more info on the hair growth uh, separately from this webinar? Okay, we can discuss that during the question and answer session if you like. And my favorite, quite honestly, is youth renewal. One of the effects of copper peptide is it will reset several thousand genes, about 4,000 genes in the cells to a younger, healthier state. And in fact, uh, Dr. Lauren Pickhart, who was the discoverer of copper peptide, he eventually, after uh, more than 40 years of research into copper peptide, came to the realization that the way copper peptide was working uh, to do all these miraculous things was to reset the genes to a younger, healthier state. And uh, that obviously has its own set of phenomenal benefits. So it's not quite the fountain of youth, but it takes a big step there. There's other benefits to X39, and uh, we don't, I will say we don't make medical claims we get a ton of uh, testimonials having to do with medical claims. We don't share those, but I'm sure that you've all heard about them. Okay, now let's go over to um, the next presentation. And uh, what I'm going to share with you now is just some of our uh, clinical research. As I've said, we've done over 80 clinical studies since uh, 2002. Uh, my background is as a researcher. My first job out of college was uh, designing and developing medical devices. And uh, Dr. Haltiwanger, who's the medical doctor uh, on our staff, uh, also has a background in research. So we are committed to being a research-based company. And uh, as such, every time we roll out a product, we're going to have multiple studies uh, to show the efficacy and, of course, the safety. Uh, we also have our researchers come to our uh, live events so our members get a chance to meet them and ask them questions. And of course, we get really excited 
as do the researchers at presenting what they're finding uh, because they'll tell you there's no other products like LifeWave. So this is one of the studies uh, that we've done. And we do multiple studies, by the way. Uh, we do traditional blood and urine work, uh, but we also like to do a variety of bioelectrical tests. And what we found over the years is that this gives us a much better idea of what's going on. So in other words, if you're finding that something is lowering inflammation, the bioelectrical test can tell you what part of the body the inflammation is going down in. And then, of course, we use standard clinical self-assessment. So you ask people, well, how are you feeling? How's your sleep? How's your quality of life, et cetera? And then uh, that will tell you, do you have a, a placebo effect or uh, does your product, uh, the self-assessment match up with what you're seeing in the blood work, the urine work, and the bioelectrical tests? So uh, this is a pilot study that we did. We've since gone on and uh, Dr. Connor has done a double blind placebo-controlled study with a larger population uh, to validate this first pilot study. And uh, measures, by the way, in this study were taken at baseline 24 hours and seven days. Uh, other studies that we've done uh, have gone on to look at the effects over 30 days, six weeks, uh, six months, and 12 months. Uh, those studies, by the way, of six months and 12 months uh, are still going on. Uh, and we're looking at those results. Uh, but this, the whole goal of this, this was a very early study we wanted to find out, uh, do people get an immediate effect and what happens after the first week of use? That would be important for us on a number of different levels. First of all, we want to know uh, from a marketing perspective, uh, how many people are going to respond after a week? Or are we going to get statistical significance? And you know, imagine having a product where you're going to see a majority of people responding after just a week. Right, that's going to be fantastic. So this was a small study of 15 people. Uh, the follow-up study was 50 people, and uh, we just selected a target age group of 40 to 65. Uh, we know by age 40 the stem cell activity declines, and of course, as you get older, uh, stem cell activity goes down. Um, we worked with a laboratory here uh, in Southern California, and we used. Uh, a metabolic suite that involved urine and saliva collection. Uh, these were some of the markers that we were going to look at uh, that we got into, uh, we'll go into detail on. Uh, we also want to look at how is the body handling stress, uh, DHEA levels, glutathione levels. Uh, we want to look at bioelectrical testing, so what's going on in the heart, respiration, uh, heart rate variability is a big one. If we see less stress in the heart, uh, that's going to be important. We've got some interesting results there. And then a series of questionnaires. So uh, we want to look at, uh, unfortunately in this study, uh, because it was a small sample size, uh, nobody in the study had pain. Uh, <laughs> so I was happy for them, but we were able, weren't able to uh, demonstrate if, in this study if the product provided pain relief which we subsequently have demonstrated. Um, we wanted to look at quality of sleep because we saw early on that there were uh, improvements in sleep with X39, uh, vitality, well-being, mood, uh, and long and short-term memory. So first thing is um, on the questionnaire for vitality and well-being, what came out of this, which, which matched up with the metabolic data, is that after only one day, of wearing X39, people were, were reporting that they were feeling better. So again, as marketers, uh, this is something that we should be really excited about, is you have someone that uses the product and after the first day, they get excited because they're noticing that they're feeling better. Uh, and of course, as they continue to use the product, uh, we get statistical significance in uh, the areas of vitality and wellness. So. Uh, this would mean, of course, you know, follow up with people after a week because the majority of them are going to say, hey, I use the product and I'm feeling really great. Uh, it's also important that you ask people to keep track of this and say, hey, while you're using this, um, you know, keep track of how you're feeling, 
your level of energy, your level of vitality, your sleep quality, and so forth. Uh, question is, can it be used on animals on a technical basis? Yes, but we don't have a clinical study using X39 on animals yet. Um, there was also, this was very interesting, um, the reason for this uh, is that, as I mentioned earlier, we saw a change in GABA levels. GABA in the brain changes the levels of something called BDNF, and BDNF controls the activity of stem cells. And so uh, this is one of the reasons why we believe we see a change in short-term memory this quickly. So it's something that people might not notice on their own, by the way, but if they, of course, they took one of these tests, they would. Uh, very strong shifts uh, the first night, on improvement in sleep, in sleep quality, and of course by day seven, we got statistical significance. Now in terms of metabolic outcomes, you know, the questionnaires of course are standard clinical uh, questionnaires, so you can do studies just on that, but of course we also want to compare this to blood and urine data. All right, let's see, we got another question. Um, Oh, this is a great question. If you start using X39 before you're 50, by the 70 and beyond and keep using it, will you have more stem cells than the average 70-year-old? Um, we haven't done that study, but based on the research we've done and based on the research with copper peptide, I believe the answer would be yes. Also, even if someone is over the age of 70, they're still going to get phenomenal results of, with X39, and this is because of the way X39 uh, alters uh, gene expression. Uh, in fact, some of the best testimonials we get are people that are uh, 70, 80, and even 90 years old. My dad is 90, and after using X39, a herniated disc that he'd had for several years uh, was uh, went away, and he no longer suffers with that. Okay, so um, we looked at how is the body going to handle stress. This is epinephrine. We wanted to look at sleep, measuring GABA. Histamine uh, is for stress response, et cetera. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, this is just showing you some of the raw data. And uh, first of all, we wanted before we got into looking for copper peptide in uh, blood and urine, which we've done, we wanted to run this preliminary test and see if the amino acids uh, that make up copper peptide were changing, because this would give us an early indication if we were elevating copper peptide, and in fact it does. Uh, the copper peptide, by the way, is made from glycine, histidine, and lysine. And we can see glycine metabolism is being uh, altered by over 30%. So this, in fact, corresponds uh, with the increase in copper peptides. So people would expect uh, their first uh, day to first week of having about a 30 to 40% increase in their levels of copper peptide, which is quite significant. Now, there's also an analog of copper peptide that uses alanine. Uh, and this is why some people show an improvement in hair growth. Alanine uh, peptide, uh, or, or AHK, is linked to hair growth. Uh, we also wanted to look at epinephrine and histamine, and you can see that there was an alteration in uh, metabolism, and uh, this shows that we got a decrease in, uh, in uh, stress and a decrease in inflammation. It's an indicator. Uh, we also looked at leucine metabolism. Now, leucine is one of the branch chain amino acids, and it's the key amino acid in muscle protein synthesis. Um, and so we can see that there was an increase in the utilization of leucine between 20 and 40 percent. So this really gives us an, a good indication as to why we were seeing uh, improvements in sports performance and recovery. Um, we also saw an, a change in the utilization of tryptophan. 
Tryptophan, of course, uh, is a precursor to melatonin uh, and explains why people are getting an improvement in sleep. So if we were seeing an improvement in sleep, we would exp uh, expect to see a change in metabolism and tryptophan, which we have. Um, we also saw changes in metabolism of glutathione. Uh, let's see, another question here. I just had my hernia surgery last week, and within two days, I had no more pain in my groin. I could walk and live life like the surgery never happened. I just want to say thank you, and you're going to change the world. God bless. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. You know, as uh, I feel very blessed to be uh, where I am today and very, very grateful that we have this opportunity to provide X39 and uh, provide so many benefits and help people with their health challenges. And it's very, very gratifying to get that kind of feedback. So thank you so much. Now, glutathione is the body's master antioxidant. And uh, so there are mild increases in glutathione when using X39. Um, again, some other uh, metabolic uh, indications here. Again, I'm just going to keep going through this. But again, the, the initial data from this study uh, was able to back up uh, the reports that people were having on X39. Um, again, we looked at amino acids because they're key indicators for changes in neurotransmitters, uh, changes in hormone levels. And again, all of these things lined up with what we were seeing. Uh, again, I think I've already mentioned this on uh, seeing changes in levels in GABA and what that has to do with BDNF and stem cells. Uh, very, very early on in July of last year, as we started to get samples to our leaders and our members, uh, one of our leaders over in Europe, who I've known for many years, uh, seven years ago, he suffered with a mild stroke. And as he's a public speaker, he found he would go up on stage and in mid-sentence, he would forget what he was supposed to say. Uh, and he all, also had other problems with his speech. 10 days on X39, and all of those symptoms, all of those uh, indications, they went away. So he was able to find that he was speaking more clearly and thinking more clearly. So don't be surprised uh, when you have people say, hey, I noticed my brain is working better with X39. Uh, in multiple studies now, we've achieved statistical significance in heart rate variability. Uh, basically, this is the ratio in muscle contractions in the heart and it can be used to diagnose whether or not someone has a heart arrhythmia or another challenge. I'm staying away from medical claims. Um, but basically, X39 supports the health of the heart. Uh, we've also done work, and one of the things that Dr. Connor was incredibly excited about, actually, the, the thing she was most excited about here was how X39 reduces blood pressure. We don't make this as a claim because it'd be a medical claim. So I'm just presenting it here in reference to the clinical study. Uh, but it's not a claim that we officially make because uh, we don't want to be categorized as a drug. But don't be surprised if you uh, uh, find out that people's uh, blood pressure has decreased. All right, another question. Oh, this is a great question. Have you conducted any clinical research integrating X39 with hyperbaric oxygen? Uh, I believe the reason why that question was asked because hyperbaric oxygen therapy can increase the number of circulating stem cells. I think X39 would be phenomenal for that because uh, let's say you take someone over the age of 60, you can increase their number of stem cells, but they're still gonna be older stem cells. So now imagine increasing the total number of uh, circulating stem cells with oxygen therapy, applying X39, and then getting those stem cells to act like younger, healthier cells. Uh, by the way, I would love to do that clinical study uh, with a research center or doctor that's interested. So if you have a contact, sign me up. Okay, so keep things moving along so we can get to questions. 
Uh, these are just summaries, so I'm going to skip over this because I think we've gone through it in detail now. And I'm just going to show you one last thing, which you'll love, and these are on the before-afters, which we'll skip through in just a few minutes. Um, but you're going to find remarkable effects with scar reduction and wound healing. Um, so this was a surgery someone had uh, back in 2017. And th this is important because you'll get questions of, oh, well, what if I had a surgery, you know, 10 years ago? Uh, what if I had an injury 20 years ago? Doesn't matter. The body can still heal. Um, in any case, we saw that this person started to use X39 in July when it first came out, uh, when we were in our pre-launch, and after only a month, uh, you can see a dramatic reduction in the appearance of the scar. Um, this was something, a uh, surgery that was more recent, and you can see, oh, whoops, sorry about that. And you can see uh, this is the scar at day one, and then here's what happened after 34 days. Dramatic reduction in the appearance of the scar. Uh, this came from a medical doctor. Uh, she lives, has a practice in both Spain and in Denmark. And uh, any of you that have ever gotten stung by a jelly, jellyfish, me included, you know how painful it is. And you can see a dramatic reduction uh, in only three weeks in uh, that jellyfish sting. Now, we've been studying diabetic neuropathy uh, for many years here, as I indicated. And uh, when people have open wounds, uh, they almost never close terrible problem for doctors. And uh, you can see what happened over here uh, after using X39 for about a month. Of course, the wound was open in May, but they didn't get the product till the end of July. After about a month, uh, the wound has closed. Now, again, we don't make any medical claims, uh, so that's why this just says skin problem here. But again, seven days on X39 a dramatic reduction in irritation and redness. Uh, same thing here. Uh, this was eczema. And again, we're not claiming we're curing or treating it. We're just uh, improving the symptoms. Two and a half days and reduction in inflammation and pain. Uh, now, I would definitely recommend that people take before after photos uh, on any type of injury, scar, wound and also wrinkles uh, because you're going to see uh, after uh, the first month to three months using X39 that the wrinkles have become more mild, right? Decrease in their appearance. Now, this was a very, very dramatic case of uh, hair regrowth. I am going to preface this, that this is a medical doctor who was going through chemotherapy and he had lost a good part of his hair, and he felt that the reason why his hair grew back was with X39. But of course, this is purely anecdotal, and we don't know. Uh, that's a little bit difficult to see, but anyway, you can see that the skin is tightened. Uh, and then just one more. Uh, this is my favorite because this is on youth renewal. This is a woman in her 80s uh, that lives in Denmark. She was having a huge number of health issues. Her daughter is a distributor for LifeWave, got her X39, and this is what happened in only two months of using X39. Uh, 